Hello, I'm Gail Ellis and welcome to Pep Help Picture Books in European Primary English Language Teaching. And our theme for March uh, 2021 is Wildlife and our book of the month is Leaf by Sandra Diekman and published by Flying Eye Books in 2017. It's a story with many themes. It's about displacement, loneliness, fear, respecting differences, welcoming newcomers, climate change, listening, inclusion and kindness. And it's also about the importance of the home and the family. Now, the opening spread shows us a polar bear arriving somewhere strange, unknown, floating on a piece of ice. He looks sad, lonely, dejected, his head is hung low, and this doesn't look like the natural habitat at all of a polar bear. And we see him arriving from the crow's perspective, and it's interesting to notice throughout the story and ask children to listen and identify to the different ways that the polar bear is referred to on this opening spread. Crow saw it first, the strange white creature. So uh, polar bear is referred to as it and the strange white creature, which emphasizes his um, loneliness, his difference and his isolation. And throughout the story, he's referred to as a stranger, um, a ghost, a monster, a beast. And he's finally given the um, name Leaf because he collects leaves to try and make wings so that he can fly back to his home. And it's only at the very end where the term polar bear is used when finally the crows and the other animals give polar bear a voice and listen to his story. Now, I talk about multi... Uh, Multi multiple literacies and leaf can be used to develop emotional literacy as the children empathize with the bear. How is he feeling? What must it feel like to arrive somewhere so unknown? Um, and uh, we can see also that there is a link with developing um, environmental and nature literacy. Children can ask questions about, well, why is he floating on a piece of ice? Is this to do with climate change and global warming? It, they can identify all the different uh, leaf shapes that they see in the illustrations, and they can um, find out about the different habitats of polar bears and the other animals in the story. In terms of visual literacy, there are so many rich details to notice in the illustrations, and there are lots of contrasts. Um, for example, on this double page spread, um, the animals and the crows are having a debate uh, representing two opposing points of view, and children can replicate this debate in the classroom. Uh, on, the, on this side, uh, we have the crows who are beginning to empathize and sympathize with polar bear. He is lost, he looks sad, let's help. I think he is beautiful. And then the opposing points of view here, he is dangerous, destructive. Have you seen his teeth? And I think uh, Leaf also is a storybook, a picture book that can lend itself well to uh, giving children practice in asking questions. Uh, they can ask polar bear lots of questions such as, uh, where has he come from? Where is his family? Why is he here? How is he feeling? Why is he collect collecting leaves? Why do the other animals fear and distrust him? And they could write their questions in leaf shapes to create a question wall. So I hope you enjoy using leaf. We would love to hear from you. I look forward to hearing from Tasha and Annetta next. And in the meantime, uh, keep well and stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>